Geeks and girls and guys and gals, come on in, sit a spell, and welcome to Gadget at the Techstop.net, where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Robert Balliser, and we're here again in the office for the Center of Apostolic Technology in San Jose, California. I'd like to start off by reading an email message I received from a viewer, uh, Sarah, in Fremont, California, who writes, Robert, I saw you in the pilot episode on YouTube. You were wearing a priest thing. What's up with that? Well, Sarah, that actually has a pretty simple answer. You see, I am a Jesuit. I am a member of a religious order of the Catholic Church to be ordained in June. Now, a follow-up question might be, why does a Jesuit need a show about technology? That's also got a pretty easy answer. You see, I was a geek way before I was a Jesuit. The Jesuits have always been at the forefront of communications technologies in the Catholic Church, and if you take it as a whole, the Catholic Church is the largest consumer of information technologies. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Let's get on to the tech. This week, we're taking a look at a USB flash drive. Now I know, I know, it's not exactly cutting edge tech. USB flash drives have become sort of like the floppy disks of yesteryear. They're almost disposable. In fact, at CES this year, booths were just hanging, handing them out as Chotskys. But you see, this is no normal USB flash drive. This is the tough drive from ATP. This is a USB 2.0 compliant device that not only provides 200 times performance, that's 30 megabytes a second of read speed at its theoretical maximum, but it's also ruggedized. It's wrapped in this little rubberized latex type container with a hard metallic shell inside to protect the electronics. The manufacturers claim that it can survive water, crush, vibration, heat, pretty much everything that you could throw at it in a real world environment. Now, I guess the place to start would be performance. And the question would be, how does this stack up against the drive you would buy at Fry's Electronics or Circuit City, Best Buy, maybe online at buy.com or Amazon? Well, put quite simply, it blows them out of the water. In order to get a baseline for the test, we decided to use a PQI 4 gigabyte flash drive. By no means the fastest on the market, but pretty typical of what you'd find from standard USB 2.0 flash disks. We ran it through a performance benchmark that looked at sequential read and write, then random read and write, and the results were, well, typical but disappointing. We got only a 7.7 .7 for read, a 2.0 for write, and then a 0.18 for random read and write, and that's the one that would really matter for a Vista Ready Boost. Again, it's not fast, but this is pretty much what you'd see from a generic USB flash disk. When we looked at the ATP Tough drive, things were an entirely different matter. We ran it through the same test, and not only did those tests go incredibly quickly, but we found results of 20 for read, 13 to 14 for write, 1.72 for random read and write. Uh, it just put it in an entirely different ballpark. Now the performance numbers are well and good. It's nice to see that the Tough drive actually lives up to the numbers that the manufacturers claim. But as the name might imply, the tough drive needs to prove itself a little bit more than that. We kicked around the idea around the office of how we would actually test it, uh, torture it physically. Some wanted to throw it into a fire pit. Some people wanted to freeze it. Some people wanted to immerse it. Others wanted to drive a car over it. But we decided that the most real-world test that would incorporate most of those elements would be to put it through the wash and dry cycle. Not once. Not twice, not even three times, but a dozen times. That's right. Just for you, we put this very drive into the wash a dozen times to see what would happen when it was wet, spun, dry, vibrated, and then cooked to a crisp inside of a, a real-world drop-it-in-my-laundry, throw-it-in-the-washer-dryer type test. And this is what we came up with. Hello and welcome to the laundry room of the Jesuit residence. We're here to test the tough drive under uh, less than ideal conditions. We're going to send it through the washer and the dryer to show you that uh, it can survive some pretty extreme uh, conditions. Now in order to give you a baseline comparison, we have here a standard USB 
thumb drive, something that you'd, you'd pick up at the corner store. It's not that big, it's only 32 megabytes, but uh, it's, it's very typical of the sort of plasticky construction that you'll find on most bargain basement flash drives. Here, in the pre-wash, we have the tough drive. Now, uh, in order to sort of really show you how tough this thing is, we were pre-soaking it to make sure that it's nice and fresh when we finally do want to fire it up. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you that both of these drives do work as is at this very moment. And why I'm going to do that is I've got a video clip loaded up on each one. This one has a clip from Red vs. Blue from Rooster Teeth Productions. And you'll see that if I plug it in right here, even though it's still wet, we get a detection. And when I go to start up the video, it works just fine. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the generic drive to show you that yes, it does work right now. I've got Battlestar Galactica, a webisode on this. Again, it's detecting. And if I play it, you'll see the sci-fi logo. And now it's telling you that it's playing the Battlestar Galactica webisode. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take both of these drives, we're going to cap them up, then we're going to put them in this sweater vest. We're going to put that sweater vest in the laundry, run it through the washer and the dryer, and you get to watch. Here we are, an hour later. Now it's time for the drying cycle. We can't forget the fabric softener if we want the dits, bits to come out nice and uh, fluffy. Alright, so it's been washed, it's been dried, it's been spun, it's been put through high heat. Let's see if the drive survived. Okay, so we've got both of the drives. They're a little bit warm, uh, very, very sticky. It uh, looks like uh, a lot of moisture made its way inside the generic drive. But let's try the tough drive first. Let's see how it fared. Remember, this is the drive that had the episode of Red vs. Blue from Rooster Teeth Productions. Let's see if it survived. Okay, we've got the indicator that says it's uh, been detected. Let's see if it'll play. And here we have Red vs. Blue from Rooster Teeth. So, the drive seems to have uh, survived with no ill effects. Let's try the generic. Okay, the generic is a little waterlogged, so I had to shake it out. Let's see what happens when we plug it in. As you can see, the drive is blinking, so it is getting power, and it is uh, making the connection, but unfortunately it looks like it may have seen its very last. It's not coming up. That only uh, goes to verify what we know about the tough drive, which is it's an incredibly tough piece of equipment. It's washed, it's dried, it's fluffy, it's lemony fresh, but yes, it's tough. It's the tough drive from ATP. So we've seen that it's fast, it's tough. It's nearly indestructible. I can't really think of any reasons not to buy a tough drive, especially when it's only a few dollars more than your standard USB 2.0 flash drive. With this, you're not only going to get the performance and the ability to transfer files on and off of the drive, get the, the ready boost capability, but you also get the peace of mind of knowing that your data is going to survive even if you don't. Now, if you want to know more about the Tough Drive or ATP's other products, you can always go to www.thetechstop.net, click on the Gadget tab, and look at our show notes, where we'll have a full review, as well as links to where you can buy the ATP Tough Drive. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget at thetechstop.net. If you'd like to write us, you can always send us email at gadget at thetechstop.net. I'm Robert Balliser, I've been your host, and I just want to remind you that there's no Uber Geek without you. Thanks for watching.